the uh, software that I've written to uh, control the whole thing is what you can just about see on this screen in front of you here. Um, it's this is the online embed compiler um, and loads of code. Um, as we can see, look at some of it in some detail. It's it's all written in a language called C or C++ and um, there's quite a lot of it I suppose. In fact most of it, the biggest part of it is the graphics. There's, there's more code used to draw to draw um, convincing MOD mid-last century look-alike meter movements than in anything else I think really. Um, but I will publish a link to this so that anyone can look at, copy, have, uh, the whole software that I've uh, um, written for this and um, if anyone wants to take a copy of it and modify it for their own use then that's fine by me um, but if you expect me to help you with it I will charge you something astronomical on a daily rate for the privilege. Back in the workshop proper um, here's a little bit of a look around the seven and a quarter loco up on the bench um, front on the left back at the right here we can see the Honda petrol engine and the petrol generator unit I'll whip that out and show you a bit more detail of that in a minute um, but the driver's control panel up here at the back uh, here we can see you know, another one of these displays with the touch controls just down there is the center off um, a key switch I won't do anything with the key out um, turn it clockwise for forwards anti-clockwise for reverse um, some more electronics on the back here uh, the thing behind the cooling fan is the uh, rectifier unit that we need for the alternator the generator is of course an AC generator being a brushless motor um, and just down there you can see some wires and motors and wheels and cogs and things that make it all work. Uh, yet to be fitted the uh, twin horns and another little piece of electronics here. This is just something I've thrown together. Um, this is a board that you can put whatever the system voltage happens to be put that in and it uh, regulates it down to a nice steady 13 volts for all the low voltage stuff. Now with the power unit, right, three nuts and three wires to disconnect and the whole power unit is removable as one solid lump quite easily. It's quite a comfortable lift. Um, I've got a little bit more work to do on this. Um, at the moment, the um, when I'm running it, I just start it up, put the throttle somewhere near mid revs. It doesn't need doesn't need to be thrashing out at huge revs, but sort of mid revs somewhere, um, and ju I just leave it there. Um, but of course, that's slightly annoying when we're waiting in the station or otherwise not actually needing any power. So I'm going to arrange a little model control servo to um, work the throttle down to you know normal tick over when power is not actually needed. Just tripping over one of the five inch bogies under construction, which is what we've got on the floor here. Um. And there is an ever so slight slope on this workshop floor. And some very good bearings in the bogey. The other one of which is in pieces on the bench here. Coming along, there's a brushless motor on a mounting plate. Uh, I've got to make up some bushes to various other things. But um, Essentially it's uh, very much the same as the seven and a quarter bogey but just scaled down a little bit. And the motors just fit nicely 
in there, but there's not a lot of spare space on the 5 inch version. But we could see, I hope to have those complete and rolling.